Hello everyone, so I'm going to give my review on the Coil Cyclone number 2. So yeah, here it is at the price of 2.25 million, so a little bit expensive from the start here. So now we're going to have a quick look in the interior of the vehicle. You can only t open two doors at max. Of course there's nothing else at the back of the front or anything. But inside looks cool. Um, it's got the like the chrome little bit and the edges and all around the stuff. So that's nice, nice shiny feel I guess. But yeah. I think that's just the most thing about it inside, it's got a nice chrome feel to it. So now I'm going to customise the coil here in Los Santos Customs and it's got some options going on here, um, nothing crazy but it's a little bit of bumpers there but not hugely different from each other really I'd say. Um, we've got diffusers at the back, all that kind of stuff but yeah I don't know, the difference, at least big difference from each other if you want to customise is from the grills for some reason, anything else is not hugely different from each other so I don't know, it's a bit lacking, but I guess the livery as well that's, is different for each other as well. So, the second one there got caught my eye there, but not worth putting it on to me. But it does catch people's eyes, I think, especially at night, it'll glow. So, that's a nice one to have. But yeah, there's different little options here. The scoops, a little bit different to each other, I guess, but not huge. But yeah, overall, there's, there's some customization options going on. There's some. You, you'll definitely have some little bit different to each other if you compare it to someone else's vehicle, like your friend or something. So as well, this vehicle can do HSW upgrades, so I'll definitely happily put it on on this vehicle. So it's about $475,000, at, le at least at the time of recording. But yeah, you have the upgrades here, you've got the brakes, the usual stuff that you have with the HSW upgrades. So of course you're going to put those on, especially you know for acceleration. The top speed is at maximum, so max out the acceleration. The mode is a bit different, I don't think, at least some other vehicles don't have that, so that's different but yeah it's basically more acceleration that's all you need to know really but overall definitely worth trying to get the HSW upgrade. Alright so now I'm going to test the top speed and I'll tell you what compare the both though at least I think the acceleration is really good and so is the top speed <laughs> you know for HSW upgrade I mean this is going to be insane but I think out of both the acceleration gives a nice power there you can tell it's good Poof, it's like crazy but yeah you won't be disappointed for sure. And of course the coil will need some flaws and one of them is basically just even losing grip to the road. As you can see it, like this is on the way to do the top speed basically and on the way I was just losing control especially when you just basically don't get on the road. If you don't grip on the road as you can see even a little bump here they can spin you out. Not always but it can happen. So handling it's 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 okay. Um, it's not the most amazing well, maybe because it's just the top speed and acceleration just overpowering it. So the, grip on the road is going to get a bit trickier but that's the cost obviously it can't be really OP so yeah it'll still be fine just make sure you brake every time when you turn and you should be fine you should be so now the brakes on this vehicle are really good at least yet again seeing with a HSW upgrade but as you can see phenomenal I'm happy, really happy with that so now I'm going to test the off-road and off-road yeah it's actually pretty good as long as yet again you stick to the ground it you'll be fine it won't like lose control it's actually really good and this next bit here it's really good I mean look at that you'll see in a minute I'm trying to move side to side like I'm actually forcing it and it doesn't spin out it's actually really good off-road for some reason even the top speed is pretty good for so some reason if you want to go off-road I mean go ahead <laughs> you'd probably be outrun some loads of people even off-road vehicles alright so I'd like to give my final thoughts on this vehicle but the main question though is it worth it yes I'll say yes um, I definitely recommend it if you like really fast vehicles, especially now with HSW upgrades. This is definitely the vehicle for you. Um, of course, I'm sure you have loads of money to spare anyway because it's 2.2 million without the price, uh, like offers and that, I mean, like default price. But um, yeah, I think so. You could probably use it in some racing maps, but make sure it's on the road though, at least most of the time. If it's like any stunt races or anything like that, you know, things just off the ground. Yeah, you probably want to avoid this vehicle, probably. But that's the main thing, really. But yeah, definitely go for it. You'll definitely have a good time. I had a good time with this vehicle. Um, and I'm sure you guys won't if you buy it either. So yeah, I think it's worth your time, really. Worth it. So yeah, hope this video helped, though. If it did, make sure to give this video a like. If you're new here, maybe subscribe. It's up to you. If not, check out other playlists, reviews, or tutorials. You never know. Score through. Something might be there. If not, Thank you for watching this video everyone.